Dr. P. Nagraj. He is currently working as assistant professor in the Department of Chemistry, Anna University, Chennai. Earlier, he worked as a scientist in charge at Spices Board of India for five years in research and development and also in quality control laboratory. He has finished his PhD in organic chemistry at IIT, Delhi. He has also done his MSc Chemical Science at Pondicherry Central University. He has published six papers in international journal and also participated several international events in India and abroad. He has attended several conferences and delivered lecture as keynote speaker and also undergone 12 training programs. His area of research interests are isolation, synthesis of natural products and evaluation of their biological activities, carbohydrate-based natural product synthesis, enzyme catalyst organic synthesis, green chemistry, medicinal aspects of spices and spice products. Welcome to UGC lecture series in polymer science. In polymer science, we are going to discuss about fiber science and rubber technology. In this topic, today we are going to talk about surgical dressing and flame retardant fibers. So, content of today talk is introduction to fiber materials and specialty of surgical dressing fiber materials, examples for surgical dressing materials, properties of polymeric fiber materials, flame retardant fiber materials and its properties, application of surgical dressing and flame retardant fiber materials. Surgical dressing and sutures composed of fibers, a solid characterized by flexibility, fineness, high ratio of length thickness length at least 1000 times their breadth. So, this kind of special cloth or fiber which is required for a dressing purpose. Important is of especially in forensic science and the second major application pharmacy. For quality control there also is this kind of material play major role to determine price versus quality for bulk purchasing. So, it should be cheap and it have some special properties. Identification of those materials like uh, you can go for either macroscopic examinations, uh, chemical test performed on microscope slides observed under the microscope. So, we can go either macroscopic you can see naked eye and you can go for chemical test. Classification of fibers used in surgical dressings. Uh, dressing may be it may be natural or man made. A uh, natural source which either it can come from uh, animal source or animal resource. So, dressings uh, the fiber material can either get from natural or man made source. In case of uh, natural source, either it can get from animal or from plants, uh, animal in the form of proteins, uh, plants in the form of cellulose. Proteins either two types further subdivided either it can be wool or uh, silk whereas, in case of uh, cellulose either we can get from cotton or chemical wood pulp which is responsible for uh, this natural fiber dressing materials. In case of artificial or man made uh, dressing materials either you can go for synthetics in case of synthetic polyamide and polyester two major classification. In case of polyamide, nylon is the example for polyamide, whereas terlin is the best example for polyester will give synthetic dressing material, whereas in case of regenerated material we can go for cellulose uh, viscous rayon. So, these two are examples for regenerated man made synthetic material. Animal fibers uh, wool uh, from the fleece of sheep, ovis aries treated before used to degrease it, washed with water, then soap solutions, then bleached with sulfuric acids, uh, acetone removes wool fat, compound crowded. So, these are all the uh, methods or techniques should be used before it is going to use it for our dressing purpose. Another one is uh, animal fiber which is man made of proteins. Uh, the major ingredient from protein is keratin, a flame tested by burning you can identify whether keratin is there or not which is one of the uh, responsible for proteins. Uh, stretched unstable from beta keratin, uh, elastic when let go, 
unstretched stable form alpha keratin. So, two forms of keratin which is uh, useful for protein test one is a beta another one is alpha. Forms peptide like in chain strands also contains cysteine in sulfur bridge which gives elasticity. So, two amino acids are two protein molecules which have linked with cysteine where the sulfur bridge disulfide bridge will be there which will give the flexibility of the fiber material. You can see this is a test for sulfur you can identify whether a bridge is there in between either two polypeptide chain or two protein chain. I use as chiropody that is to spread toes, crib bandages with the cotton or rayon wool gives elasticity and warmth. So, this peculiar property of wool will give more elastic and it will give warmth. So, wherever it is required we can use for wool material like we can use as a cold very cold condition we can use even as a cloth. In microscopically we can see covered by epithelial scales marked shape and arrangements varies in different breeds. Number of scales per 100 micrometer length is fairly constant in different wools counts can be distinguished. Another important naturally available dressing material which is silk prepared fiber from the cocoons of silk worms bombyx mori also from other bombyx anthracia species China, Japan, India, Asia, Minor, Italy, France etcetera which is produced silk wild silk though these are all the examples where uh, these two which is produced in India whereas this is mainly produced in China and MMI which is produced in Japan. Caterpillar crystallis and a purple stage secretes an oval cocoon 2 to 5 centimeter long around itself so the and made of continuous thread up to 1200 meter long crystallis killed by 60 to 80 degrees Celsius few hours a short steam burst graded hot water beaten to remove outer layer and soften glue loose ends 2 to 15 cocoons spun into single thread generally 5 cocoons that is 5 bave 5 brins. So, this is method where we can get a fiber material from cocoon especially silk material. Two silk or fibroin fibrous as cemented together with the silk glue sericins Sericin removed by hot soap solutions, fully extended chains of alanin and glycines, again, which is amino acid, which will extend the chain length. Non elastic, do not double up like wool, contain no sulfur. So, here there is no sulfur linkage. So, you cannot connect with when two uh, protein chains, whereas here you can see amino acid alanine and glycine, which is play major role to extend the chain length of the silk. Uses were dressing a bit egg oil silk BPC in surgery to stop other dressing drying out cover them. Sutures ligatures non absorbable quite strong do not disintegrate when wet. So, the silk the beauty is if it will not undergo any disintegrate or degradations if it is any water or if it is in wet conditions which is also quite a strong which would not absorb any moisture or water or any liquid. So, these are all the special property of silk material while during our dressing. Microscopic test we can a solid rod like fiber, lack of cellular structure, no distinguishing features these three are microscopically we can find. So, animal fibers uh, different microscopically differentiated by following chemical test, uh, test is especially here wool silk if you burn it flame uh, smell of burnt hair smell of burnt hair. So, both are same red to pink color it will change to color change and the stain if you use picric acid you can get yellow stains and which is warm if you heat it with KOH both are especially this case of wool which is soluble whereas, in case of silk which is insoluble whereas, use concentrated HCL uh, this wool is insoluble in case of silk which is soluble. Similarly, copper oxam as stains blue which is again soluble. So, sulfur protein test black precipitate in case of wool whereas, uh, silk will not give any precipitate. So, you can distinguish 
uh, the fiber material uh, which is present either silk or wool based on this chemical test which is microscopic test. In case of vegetable fibers, cotton one of the important uh, fibers which is used for dressings. Uh, why? Because which is available in cheap and used a lot. So, which is available in cheap especially in India and USA produces about half of the production and the rest of the production will be from Egypt, uh, India, South America. So, major cultivation and the production of cotton and the sources epidermal trichromes covering seeds of josepium, herbaceum, ginning removes long hairs, better quality, uh, linter removes remaining short hairs, gives poor quality of cotton and made into chemical pulp or viscose rayons, then seeds are pressed to get cotton seeds oil, then seeds used as animal crop. So, this is how the sources of cotton materials uh, removed from cotton seeds and the raw cotton has a waxy uh, cuticle covering the trichome making it very non absorbent removed by soaking uh, pressure heating loosed cotton in alkali. So, if you uh, dip with either NaOH or KOH which is uh, basic solutions the seed will come out. To get absorbent cottons trichome wall is absorbent then washed bleached and mechanically loosened sketched. Uh, grades how we can give the grading uh, raw cotton very impure only used to absorb spillages. Spillages nothing but oil spillage or water spillage because of this porosity it can used as a absorbing material and the hospital quality absorbent cotton wool poor quality to BPC whereas, in case of BPC has some impurities almost impossible to remove all as too expensive. BPC has a limits certain amount of shell leaf materials allowable want a minimum for surgical procedures rarely used in the body cavity or wrapped into gauze first to prevent loose fiber going into body. So, this purpose we can use very very important one is cello bios which is present in our cotton material uh, made of primary and secondary cellulose cell walls. Secondary wall constitute the main bulk of cottons raw cotton consists of 90 percent cellulose. So, cellulose is one of the very very important material present in cotton fibers. Cellulose molecules made up of glucose residues so, this is the same unit which will repeat. A repeating unit is cellobios, uh, glucose residues linked by 1 4 beta glucosidal bond. So, 2 units linked by 1 comma 4 which is beta linkage. This will give cellobios unit. Uses of this uh, cotton which is used in bandages, gauze linen a yeah, very absorbent, microscopically unbleached cottons unicellular hairs look like a flattened twisted hose pipes. So, you can see the fiber material here cotton fibers in longitudinal view this is the longitudinal view and the transverse section this is the cross sections of picture shown here. Chemical wood bulb this material obtained from wood material derived from pine is so one of the wood product and spruce wood of cuts. A production delignified wood produced by sulphide process to leave the cellulose. Wood chopped into chips allow penetrations, a calcium bisulphate and sulfuric acid added to hydrolyze any material other than the cellulose, then washed, bleached, rolled, pressed into board and dried. So, this is the method to remove uh, from uh, wood material the fiber material which is composed of again cellobios, uh, cellulose wedding BPC, easily disintegrated, no instant structure. So, falls apart when wet not used for dressings. So, this whatever material obtained from wood which is not used for dressing purpose, but to catch and absorb spillage of wounds, heavy discharge and incontinence. So, this kind of purpose this wood fiber material can be used microscopically looks like a stretch it which borders pits. So, this is the example where cellulose wadding and given in the picture. Another one important fiber material which is used for uh, surgical dressing is a jute uh, phloem 
fibers from stem bark, carcass capsularis, and the Bengal Delta region, which is the most production area, Assam, Bihar, Orissa also produced this jute. Fibers separated, hessian and sacking, remaining short fibers, tau, jute in pharmacy, lignocellulose, nitric acid, potassium chlorate are used to disintegrate bundles. Another fibric material which is a flax, pericyclic fibers of linum, utilisinium, a stem. Commercial fibers show fine transverse injuries from preparations. Good quality fibers only lignified in middle lamella. Uh, the, the another one is hemp, which is pericyclic fibers of cannabis, sativa stem, mostly cellulose, minimum lignifications. Fiber ends blunty, rounded, some forked from injury, lumen flattened or oval. So, so many uh, fiber material which is used for uh, dressing purpose, especially surgical dressing. So, some of them may not be used like this hemp and uh, wood uh, materials and most widely used a cotton material which is used everywhere. So, this is the cross uh, picture for uh, this flax and jute material which is shown here. Vegetable fibers, chemical test differentiated microscopically, all the vegetable fibers like we can see here cellulose made up of all material like absorbent cotton, raw cotton, chemical wood bulb, linen, jute which is present either cellulose or cellulose lignin. You can do different testing like a burning, react with iodine and cold 80 percent sulfuric acid. 60 percent sulfuric acid concentrated HCl and 5 percent KOH, uh, copper axam, uh, fluoroclucinol. So, if you treat with this kind of chemical test, you can see all material may not be react in the same manner. It will give different like a cellulose from cellulose lignose. You can see the color which is blue here which is yellow. Something like that you can do the chemical experiment. You can distinguish from vegetable fibers. Regenerated fibers which is again human reusing either it is natural or synthetic material naturally occurring long chain molecules isolated controlled and possibly modified semi synthetic. Viscous rayon which is belongs to this group uh, viscous rayon regenerated cellulose and made from linters interior grade of cotton short hairs or wood pulp cellulose is dissolved by adding alkali and then carbon disulfide to re-precipitate it. Precipitate is forced through a metal sheet which holds into a coagulating fluid to produce fiber of required length and diameter. Titanium dioxide is added to the precipitate solutions to delust rayon, hence speaks coating the surface can be seen under microscope, can get the desired quality of free from impurities. So, viscous rayons filaments in the longitudinal view and the transverse sections. You can see this is a longitudinal, this is transverse view of this uh, viscose rayon. Whereas, de-illustrated viscose rayon filaments in the longitudinal view and the transverse view, you can see the picture. I uh, use in the mixture which cotton as a non-surgical absorbent material. So, which is used in absorbent materials. Uh, macroscopically, it is a tensile strength varies from uh, almost 3 to 1.5 that of cotton. When wet it loses about 60 percent of its tensile strength more than cotton. If more than a certain amount its used material may need to be made water repellent examples cotton grip bandages. So, where you can use if it is a wet it is 60 percent tensile strength means it will lose its strength like a cotton and it will use material may need to be uh, mostly used as a water repellent material. Microscopically fibers are solids and transparent slight twist with the grooves along their length from being immersed into the regenerating solutions end of fibers are abrupt. Comparison with the cottons uh, which have impurities in cotton waxy material never completely removed from cotton because that is cellulose plus solo bios that unwanted material which is present when stored in a warm temperature packets of wax move out and coat fibers therefore absorbency loosed on storage 
if you keep it for long time that uh, absorbing tendency will lose because of this wax coating properties uh, less absorbent that viscose rayons unsuitable for surgical dressing uh, this viscose rayons loses less strength when wet component of plastic splinting bandage like a nylon produce static electricity micro macroscopically similar to viscous rayons cellulose acetate which is again uh, naturally available a fiber material just largely uh, superseded by synthetic fibers productions cotton linters and delignified wood pulp purified cellulose partially acetylated by mixing with glacial acetic acids acetic anhydride and a catalyst uh, precipitate as acid resin flakes and these are dissolved in acetone and the solution is filtered and spun down column of warm air produce filaments made 200 to 300 glucose residue units alignate another class the aligni acid comes from cell walls of brown algae alginate fibers are produced by similar process to viscous rayons sodium alginate solutions is pumped through a spinner net immersed in bath of calcium chloride water insoluble calcium alginate is precipitated as a continuous filament collected washed dried reduced to staple form which is processed to calcium alginate wool or fabric example gauze is the example which is obtained from alginate fiber which is composed of polymers of manuronic and glucuronic acids uses applications it is absorbable hemostatic surgical dressing internal neurosurgery and external burns skin graft sites bacterial swabs microscopically which is similar to viscous rayon synthetic fiber material uh, here we can discuss polyamides example nylon polyester terlin and polypropylene three types of uh, synthetic fibers nylon which is uh, formed by condensation polymer made up of adipic acids and hexamethylene diamine polypeptide chains present in the polymer like silk structurally can be autoclaved very strong material uses for a surgical dressing and polyesters terlin condensation polymer resins uh, like the same method and made up of ethylene glycol and pterydalic acid can be autoclaved and in case of polypropylene addition polymer can be autoclaved non absorbable catheters and sutures so applications so as we discussed in the earlier here also we can see synthetic fibers can undergo man made fibers solid with limited diagnostic structure chemical test more useful if you want to distinguish you can undergo this following test which will give you what kind of which polymer which is present in our fiber material definitions of flame retardant fabrics this is another class of uh, fabric material uh, flame retardants it means it will not give any burning definition of flame retardants fabrics current trends in flame retardant fabrics uh, this is a important term limit oxygen index where the limit of oxygen index is the minimum concentration of oxygen expressed as a percentage that will support combustion of polymer so if you block the uh, entering oxygen that will not allow the polymer to burn so there are some examples shown here moda acrylic and this is a cotton 50% wools cotton polyester which will be very very least which will not undergo any kind of uh, supporting for burning classification of flame retardant fibers the trend is that there are other relevant physical or physiochemical features especially performance to the propagations of heat radiant heat convect convective heat conduct heat etc and the ability of flame retardant fabric to provide other qualities like a comfort strength easy care reasonable cost compatible with environment smokes aesthetics durability etc so this is the classification it should be stable with this kind of heat like a radiation convective conduct etc and it should have some property like if it should be comfortable and strength wise quite high and it should be easily carryable and the cost also should be quite low compatible with the environment it should not produce any environmental hazards concept 
the standard and the test that qualify the flame retardant property in the fabric are variable and change according to sector of applications and are also country specific. The flammability is not the only characteristic that should be considered to evaluate the performance of the fabric to heat and flames. There are some other characteristic also to be considered. Classifications of flame retardant fabrics are uh, by chemical treatment are flame resistant fibers and heat resistant fibers. So, these should be all the three properties should be there in case of flame retardant fabrics. Flame retardant by finish the chemical treatment achieved by chemical treatment after spinning or weaving usually in natural fibers with a limit of oxygen which is less than 28 in case of cotton and wool. This additive can give the fabric a flame retardant character enough and stable although dependent on the usage condition and maintenance. Common type which is a cotton, wool, viscous and polyester by flame resistant fibers fabric which all part of its composition a fiber made from polymers that are not necessarily thermally stable, but is a decomposition product obtained from uh, polymer which is a monomer are not combustible or fibers that have undergone changes in its synthesis or incorporation of flame resistant copolymers which make instantly resistant to flame. So, whatever material comes out of after burning from polymer to monomer it should not support for flaming activity examples chlorofibers, modacrylics, viscous flame retardant and flame retardant polyesters. By heat resistant can be formed inorganic fibers or from especially synthesized organic polymers besides being instantly flame retardant they also keep all most of the fabric properties even while working in temperature exceed 240 degrees Celsius continuously. So, this is peculiar property and inorganics like a glasses, textiles, silex, ceramics, coal, metallics. So, common type like inorganics are glass textiles, uh, silex, ceramics, coal, metallic in case of organic which is aramides, fluorocarbonates, polybenzamidazoles, PBI, phenolics or polyacrylonitrile. So, these are all the examples where used for to produce heat resistant fibers. Main applications of flame retardant fibers, flame retardant fabrics for the protections the people, things and the environment, fabrics for interior decorations used in public places like a cinemas, bars, nightclubs, theatres, hospitals, schools, hotels etcetera are in public transportation by air, land or sea in form of carpets, rugs, curtains, upholstery, wall coverings etcetera. So, there the application is very very important and flame retardant fabrics for flame and heat protections not only for firefighters, but for the workers in metallurgy for mining and all the place uh, ceramics, glass, aluminum etcetera, army and paramilitary fields, refinery workers, utilities, gas, racers etcetera. So, the application of flame retardant fibers here more. So, requirements fire and heat protections also if necessary other protections properties high visibility, antacids, antistatic, uh, comfort, aesthetics, durability, breathability, strength, abrasions, stable color fatness, easy care, weather resistant, price wise be, cost must be reasonable and according to the different risk situations the best solutions at the best price. Marlon which is one of the flame retardant fabric material the relevance is specific for the aluminum foundries uh, permanent non flammable fabric the fabrics properties are kept permanent lifelong protections factor will not be reduced after washing excellent heat isolations provides repellence of molten metal even a very dangerous areas aluminum cryolite etc following the standards for to make flame retardant fabric this is the standards and suitable for protection against any kind of heat risk in foundries. A very comfortable fabric because its compositions wool and visco flame retardant fibers. Aluminum field test comparison of Merlin with modacrylic cotton 
good for electric arc with aramides good for fire brigades and with cotton fire retardant fibers. In case of aluminum field test a comparison Maryland with the Vinex used in the past and now with the cotton flame retardant. In this lecture uh, we have studied um, surgical dressing and flame retardant fibers and some of the examples and its applications. Uh, we have seen introduction of fiber materials and specialty of surgical dressing fiber materials, examples for surgical dressing materials, properties of polymeric fiber materials and flame retardant fiber materials and its properties, applications of surgical dressing and flame retardant fiber materials. The questions of today lectures, what are surgical dressing fibers, raw material for surgical dressing polymers, explain with the examples of polymeric flame retardant fiber materials what are flame retardant fiber and write its properties, explain the applications of both surgical and flame retardant fiber materials. Within this we conclude today lecture, thank you.